Hello everyone, and welcome to Cellular Wisdom, the show where we explore the microscopic secrets behind that unstoppable human machine you call your body. I'm Ethan Foster, your resident observer of the human condition, forever on a quest to figure out why our knees start squeaking the moment we celebrate our 40th birthday. And I'm Alara Skye, a sharp mind with an even sharper tongue, here to dish out humor and insight in equal measure. We promise a well-aged blend of science, wit, and hopefully, something that might keep you from dozing off in the middle of the day. We're calling today's episode Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom, though, to be honest, I suspect the real star of the show is an amino acid named taurine. I must confess, up until recently, I thought taurine was what gave energy drinks their distinctive ability to make people think they could ride a skateboard down a flight of stairs without consequences. You mean people can't do that? The internet is full of unstoppable skateboard daredevils. But yes, taurine has become known as that mystery ingredient in certain neon-colored cans. Interestingly, taurine is a conditionally essential amino acid. That's basically science speak for, your body can make some of it, but not always enough to keep you in tip-top shape over time. So it's a friend, not a foe. Good to know. I had a flashback to a high school science project I once had to do on amino acids. I remember explaining to my teacher that they were the building blocks of proteins, and she gave me a gold star sticker, which I wore with quiet pride for about two hours. Now I read that taurine is different from other amino acids because it does more than just build proteins. It's like that Swiss army knife in your cells, involved in everything from nervous system health to muscle function. Exactly. Think of it as the overachiever in a classroom full of amino acids. While most amino acids strictly do the protein building thing, taurine's out there supporting your nervous system, offering antioxidant protection, assisting your heart, helping with blood pressure regulation, possibly feeding your cat. The list is impressive. No wonder it's so popular in the energy drink world. It's the multitasker. So, Dr. Mercola's analysis is that taurine might be a missing piece in our quest for living not just longer, but better. He cites research suggesting taurine levels go down as we age, which might be why we suddenly need three attempts to stand up from the couch after 50. You're describing my future so vividly. But yes, studies show that in mice, taurine supplementation boosted their lifespan by about 10%. That's pretty astonishing when you think about it. Imagine your pet mouse living a little longer, presumably enjoying retirement by chewing an extra cardboard box or two. More importantly, the mice not only lived longer, but seemed to live healthier. And that's the real key here. Living longer isn't fun if you spend the added years reading the Dictionary of Ailments. Absolutely. I read that part of taurine's power might come from reducing cellular senescence, which is the fancy term for cells that act like stubborn couch potatoes who refuse to budge or help. They're still in the body, but they don't do their job. These old cranky cells can accelerate aging, and taurine basically encourages them to shape up or ship out. I love that visual. A microscopic boot camp for underperforming cells. Taurine's also been shown to protect those teeny tiny powerhouses we call mitochondria. If you don't recall your biology class, mitochondria produce the energy that keeps you breathing, blinking, digesting, and daydreaming. When mitochondria start declining, you lose pep in your step, among other things. So, taurine helps maintain better mitochondrial function, which translates to more energy, or at least the potential for more energy if you're also doing other healthy things, like occasionally shutting down Netflix in time to sleep. Look, if I can still binge watch my favorite show and somehow maintain vibrant mitochondria, I'll be a happy camper. Another big topic, cardiovascular benefits. I read that taurine can help regulate blood pressure and even improve endothelial function. The endothelium is the lining of our blood vessels. When it's in good shape, Everything flows more smoothly, like well-oiled plumbing, minus the questionable odor. And better blood flow obviously reduces the risk of heart disease. We're talking about a big deal here, because heart issues tend to creep up on you if you're not paying attention. I'd say anything that helps keep the pipes clear and the pressure regulated is worth a second look. Indeed. Taurine is also beneficial for metabolic health. Research suggests it might help with insulin sensitivity. In a world where type 2 diabetes rates are rising like the cost of movie theater popcorn, that's not a small advantage. Cheaper than a Netflix subscription, and probably better for you too. Then there's Parkinson's disease. Apparently, taurine helps with the inflammatory aspect of Parkinson's and might keep certain highly reactive chemicals in check. These chemicals, like peroxynitrite, love to cause damage in the brain's dopamine-rich regions. Right. Parkinson's basically happens when your brain says, oops, I lost a chunk of those dopamine-producing neurons. That leads to tremors, stiffness, and that signature slow movement. It's believed that oxidative stress and inflammation add fuel to the fire. Taurine helps calm that fire, or at least douse it with a little soothing water. 
So we have longevity, heart protection, brain support. Taurine is building quite the resume. The next question is, how do we get enough? Clearly not everyone wants to go around slamming energy drinks all day. Dr. Mercola suggests focusing on whole foods like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised eggs, and dairy products to supply taurine. Yes, and even though your body can produce taurine, it may not be enough as you get older. That's one reason some folks look at taurine supplements. But the first, more natural approach is definitely to adjust the diet. Personally, I like the idea of incorporating more grass-fed beef and pastured eggs into your meals. Taste buds and taurine, a winning combination. Elara, I'm imagining you wearing a t-shirt that says, I get my taurine from real food, not from a can. You could start a trend. I'd sell them at health conventions, although I might be asked to provide disclaimers in three different languages. But we do live in an era of personalization. Some of us have different dietary philosophies. Vegetarians and vegans might wonder, how do I get enough taurine if I don't eat animal products? That's where supplementation becomes a serious consideration. Because taurine is predominantly in animal foods, it's tricky for strict vegetarians and vegans to get an optimal amount from their usual meals. Makes sense. And let's not forget the concept of health span, essentially how long you can live without major chronic diseases taking you down a notch. Dr. Mercola's points here are that while modern medicine extends our lifespan, we'd like those extra years to be fulfilling and relatively pain-free. If taurine helps push back on age-related ailments, that's a step in the right direction. In other words, who wants to add years if all those years are spent collecting prescription bottles and complaining about the good old days? Better to have a sharper mind, stable mood, and more robust energy levels well into older age. Taurine might be one of those puzzle pieces that can help us get there. We should also talk about the data from epidemiological studies. One major survey, known as the Cardiac Study, highlighted how populations with higher taurine intake tended to have lower rates of coronary heart disease. They measured taurine in 24-hour urine samples. Yes, that's a conversation stopper at most dinner parties. But it's a fairly accurate way to gauge intake. The moral of the story there is that many factors likely contribute to a healthy cardiovascular system. But taurine intake from a protein-rich diet appears to be a major helper. There's also a synergy with magnesium. Folks who had higher levels of both seem to do better in terms of heart health. So if you're thinking of upgrading your meal plan, you might want to toss in some magnesium-rich foods too. Leafy greens, nuts, seeds, stuff like that. Because pairing them with your taurine might create a one-two punch for overall wellness. And that's not just for your heart, by the way. It might also benefit your waistline. Higher taurine intake was linked to healthier BMIs in that study. Nothing fancy or miraculous, but it suggests that dietary taurine and magnesium form an alliance that helps keep everything in metabolic harmony. I'm personally a big fan of metabolic harmony. My daily routine already includes trying not to overindulge in donuts, so this is one more arrow in my quiver. Let's circle back to aging for a second. The research suggests taurine can help slow biological aging. That's different from chronological aging, which you can't escape unless you've invented a time machine or discovered the fountain of youth. And if you do find that fountain, call me. I'll bring the towels. Biological age means how old your cells are acting, not how old you are by calendar years. If you've been living a high-stress life, poor sleep, junk food, and minimal exercise, your cellular age could be higher than your birthday candles suggest. Taurine might help nudge those aging markers in a friendlier direction. We talk about things like telomeres, inflammation, and DNA damage. Taurine appears to reduce damage at the cellular level, which influences overall health. I read something about it even affecting insulin signaling and hormone release, like GLP-1, which is crucial for blood sugar management. That's right. GLP-1, the hormone that's the darling of certain weight loss drugs right now, helps moderate appetite and blood sugar. Taurine may support the body's natural production of that hormone, and anything that helps us naturally balance blood sugar is beneficial. So we have a comprehensive list of taurine's superhero qualities. It combats cellular senescence, enhances mitochondrial function, supports the heart, helps metabolic health, and offers neuroprotection. All that from a humble amino acid. I'm starting to feel like we should hold a small awards ceremony for it. I nominate taurine for best supporting molecule in a biological drama. You might ask, how do I get in on this taurine phenomenon? Well, start with good dietary sources. Grass-fed beef is often recommended because the animal's diet influences the nutrient profile of the meat. Pastured eggs are another great source. And if you do dairy, look for high-quality products. So if you're up for a nice steak or a couple of eggs, that's a simple way to up your taurine game. For those who abstain from animal products, a taurine supplement can be considered. And of course, in general, we always say do your research or talk to someone knowledgeable about it. But we won't get repetitive with disclaimers. Thank you, Ethan. I think our audience is smart enough to handle it. Another interesting angle is how exercise might influence taurine levels. 
there was a mention that physical activity can raise taurine metabolites in the blood. It's as though your body says, oh, we're doing something healthy. Let's shuffle more taurine into the system. That's an added incentive to get moving. If you're already out for a jog or even walking the dog with a little extra oomph, your body might naturally produce or utilize taurine more effectively. Plus, you get that cardio benefit, which also keeps the heart in good shape. It all ties together. And let's not forget the synergy aspect. If you're fueling your body with nutrient-dense foods, the impact of taurine might be even better. A lot of these health topics revolve around synergy. No single molecule is a magic bullet, but combine them with a healthy lifestyle and everything starts clicking into place. So, we're basically weaving together a big tapestry. Taurine, magnesium, exercise, balanced diet, reduced stress, good sleep, and the occasional comedic relief from your favorite podcast. This sounds suspiciously like a blueprint for feeling better. There's no cosmic secret, it's just about consistent habits. Exactly. But it's nice to know that taurine is a bit of a hidden gem. People talk about vitamin D, magnesium, or even exotic things like ashwagandha. But taurine is right there in your fridge, if you're a fan of eggs, dairy, or meat. And it doesn't always get the same spotlight. I can imagine scanning the grocery aisle now with a new sense of purpose. Yes, these are grass-fed ribeyes, and I'm here to bolster my heart and mitochondria. Thank you very much. The butcher might think you're an eccentric documentary host, but we're all about normalizing healthy conversation. So I say go for it. Some folks might also wonder if there's an upper limit, like, can you overdo taurine? Generally speaking, it's considered safe, but that doesn't mean you should swallow a bathtub of it. Balance is key, as always. Good to keep in mind. So, we've talked a lot about the science. Let's do a quick recap. Taurine is crucial for longevity and overall well-being. Studies in mice showed improved lifespan and health span. Taurine is big on cardiovascular benefits and can help regulate blood pressure and improve metabolic health. It also appears to protect neurons, potentially slowing or mitigating issues like Parkinson's disease. And it's also involved in what we call biological age. By influencing telomeres, cellular senescence, mitochondrial function, and inflammation, taurine helps us age more gracefully, sort of like making you a wise but spry elder rather than a grumpy old troll. And to get more taurine, you can eat foods like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised eggs, or supplement it, particularly if you don't eat animal products. Anything else we should add to that summary? You mentioned synergy with magnesium, which is worth remembering. And just a reminder that exercise can give your taurine levels a boost as well. It's the trifecta. Good food, good movement, good molecules. Now, we should address one little thing. Sometimes people hear about an amino acid and think, oh, I'll just get it from my monster-sized energy drink with 300 milligrams of caffeine and loads of sugar. But the health benefits we're talking about here typically come from actual taurine, not from sugar-laden products that overshadow the benefits with a guaranteed sugar crash. Bingo. Energy drinks often have taurine, but let's be honest, the sugar and additives can be more harmful than helpful. It's a bit like putting a nice ring on a questionable finger. The highlight is overshadowed by the rest of the package. You're better off focusing on the simpler dietary sources or targeted supplements. So that, dear listeners, is taurine in a nutshell. It's an understated champion in the health world, quietly supporting so many processes in the body. If you're looking for ways to put more mileage into your years, taurine might be worth considering. And let's be real. If you're aiming for a better life, it's always about the sum of many healthy decisions. Couldn't have said it better myself. We tend to overlook the small things, but it's these seemingly small factors that can give you that edge in aging. That's one reason we're here. Cellular wisdom is about shining light on the building blocks of health that often hide in plain sight. We appreciate the wisdom from Dr. Mercola's analysis, though we're aware some folks might raise eyebrows at any mention of nutritional supplements. The best approach is to keep an open mind. The science is continuously evolving, but the fundamental biology of taurine is solid. Agreed. And if you're just now tuning in, the moral of the story is, keep that taurine in your diet, or consider a well-chosen supplement if you're missing out. The research is promising, and it might just help you keep your groove as you move through life. Alara, I think we've cracked the code on how to talk about an amino acid without putting listeners to sleep. We deserve a small victory lap. I'll happily take that lap but only if you promise me we can test our taurine levels afterwards to see if we've somehow boosted them through enthusiastic conversation alone. If only talking about taurine had the same effect as ingesting it, we'd be unstoppable. Listeners, we hope you enjoyed the deep dive. This has been Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Tune in next time for more comedic banter and health insights. We'll keep your brain cells active, your mitochondrial engines humming, and hopefully offer you a few chuckles along the way. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and maybe consider picking up a carton of pasture-raised eggs. Your cells just might thank you for it. Indeed. Thanks for joining us, everyone.
Signing off with a reminder that sometimes the path to better health starts with the smallest changes. Keep exploring, keep learning, and don't forget to find humor in life's unpredictability. This is Ethan Foster. And Alara Sky. Wishing you a taurine-rich day and a healthy tomorrow. Take care, folks. See you next time on Cellular Wisdom.